All right, I just fucking did it anyway. We lubed, we lubed these blueberry hybrids, and now we're gonna test them with Kazoo's blend number three. I'm actually running low, so I hope that I can buy some off him later. So this is 206 or Crytox 206 plus GPL oil. And we have a blueberry, the Gatoron, the YOK, the Cherry, the Everglide, the Kale, and last but not least, the Altemu. So last time I mentioned these I decided that Everglides were the most tactile, but in a bad way, and cherry blueberries were, like, good enough for what I looked for in terms of a tactile switch, even though I don't like blueberry tactility in general. I don't like the two-stage tactility that either can be masked or is very obvious, so I just don't like blueberries in general, but I know that some people do, and... Frankly, I'd rather just get this video out of the way since it's been an idea on my mind that's been sort of floating around for the last few months. And I figured I might as well do it because, you know, retain an audience, right? Anyway. So I looped everything and I might as well just press them in front of the camera before sticking them inside the, the keyboard just to see if there's a difference. So here is the lewd blueberry. Definitely a little bit less scratchy. I don't like blueberry and cream smoothness in general because I thought they were always scratchy, but with the lube, it does help. Let's try the Gator ones. Not much of a difference. If anything, it made it more weird feeling where like there's a more smoother transition between the pre-travel and the incomplete bump but overall it just doesn't feel that great let's try Altemu next yeah there's a smoother transition to the second bump here so when you press down it feels like one with like a weird hitch on the bottom but looping it does help i like it Let's try Kale. Okay, so there's a lot less of that hint of double tactility in the Kale switch when you lube it, which is very welcome. I can't say if it's really smoother though, which is very weird because usually Kale switches are smooth. I feel like the kale is more high pitched and ever so slightly more scratchier than the Otemu. We have the YOK. So if you do it fast enough, it feels like one tactility. But if you do it slowly, you can see the double tactility right here. One, so like first tactile pump, second tactile pump, but if you press it quick enough, like this, like normal use, it actually feels kind of nice. I like that. Not bad. We have the Everglides. I don't think it really improved much. It just had a little bit more muted bottom out, but otherwise, in terms of the Oreo, yeah, don't do this. Don't, don't. I suggest strongly to stay away from this combo. And of course, cherry, which I personally like the most because it feels the most firm and has a pretty good tactility on it. However, I would say that the YOK and strangely enough, the Altemu with the blueberry stem actually feels pretty good. And I didn't really drown my switches in lube either. 
So let's put these switches in for the test and see how they sound like now the little dude. Blueberry. Hot Temu Berry. Gator, Gator, Gator Berry. Jesus fucking Christ, I'm making up shitty ass names. Kale Berry, not to be mistaken with Kale Pro Berry. Everglide Berry. Or Blueberry. Why okay, Blueberry. Fucking fat ass getting there. There we go. And of course, Cherry MX Tactiles. All right, key guys back on. Just show on the road. Okay. So, same order as last video, or last section, depending on whether I tried to try to merge the two videos into one or release them as separate videos. Cherry Blueberry, um, Wild K Blueberry, Garon Blueberry, Regular Blueberry, uh, Altemu Blueberry, Kale Blueberry, and um, let's see, Everglide Blueberry. Let's give them a whirl. Starting with a standard and we're going outside. Much better, but I hate this right there. I don't like this. This scratch on this inner housing is a really annoying. I really don't like that about the standard blueberry housings or cream and how in creams in general. Should I get her on? Yeah. Same problem as last time. Is, is, if anything, it feels even more linear. Let's try the Altemus. Mm. Not bad. Altemus definitely are a pretty good contender for putting blueberry switches in. And it's nice because you can find them literally anywhere. Literally buy like a 10 keyless or a full size for 20 bucks. And you get yourself a free keyboard and Altemus switches to put blueberry switches in. Or blueberry stems. Not bad. I kind of like that. Thumbs up. Uh, F with the YOKs. Let's give them a shot. Okay, so there's barely any pre-travel. If I press it with the keycap, just feels like a just feels like a really good tech doll. I love that. Okay, so uh, ten moves, YOKs, pretty good. Let's try kale. Less tactile, but a little bit more round. But there's a hint of scratch near the bottom that represents the same issue I had with a stock blueberry. So I suppose I don't really like the Kales as much as the Temus and the YOKs, but it's still respectable in its own right. Everglides, you already know the story. Like, it seems like it's almost sticking to the bottom. Kind of like one of those like sticky hands where you throw at a wall, except that like it's really shitty, so it sticks for like a split second before like having like a come back up. Kind of like a, if you were to um, like handle a doorknob, but someone touched it with like a bit of honey or some sugar behind it, and it's just like sticky, where your skin just sticks to it and then rips off. Yeah, this is fucking disgusting. I don't like that at all. Of course, what I liked before coming into this the most, cherry. But now that I've tried different combinations, I actually prefer our Temu and YOK over the cherries. In ranking, uh, if you exclude the if you exclude the blueberry by itself, I put I actually put Altemu number one, which is really weird coming from me, but I put Altemu number one. Wild okay, number two, Cherry number three. K 
Kale number four, Garon number five, and then Everglide number six. If I just stick the regular blueberry in there, I put it like right where Gatoron would be because I really don't like the stock switch. But hey. All right. There you have it. That's my opinion, my humble opinion, on how I feel hybrid blueberries uh, will be for you if you decide to use your blueberry stems and create different switches out of them. Again, my personal preference, Otemu, YOK, Cherry, Kale, Blueberry Stock, Gatoron, and then Everglades. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for your time, and I hope to catch you next time when I post another video as inane and insane as this one. Catch you later.